The Bosnian war in the former Yugoslavia was the worst conflict in Europe since World War II, claiming 100,000 lives and displacing over 2 million people. When a peace deal was signed in 1995 between the leaders of the Muslim, Serb and Croat communities, it was hoped that Bosnia might begin to heal. This is the region today, and now the United Nations is warning of renewed crisis as the Serbs are threatening to break away from Bosnia. Ethnic Serbs live primarily in these areas. Some are angry after the idea of genocide denial was banned. This was after their leaders described the genocide of 8,000 Bosnian Muslim men and boys at Srebrenica during the war as a myth. Our special correspondent Fergal Keane reports now on how the struggle over the past threatens the stability of the present. It can feel as if it all happened yesterday. The past is constantly revealed. Dragana Vucetic is a forensic anthropologist. It's all here, body bags. Uh, some cases are not uh, officially identified. Some in the For nearly 20 years, working to identify the dead of Srebrenica. 80% of the missing from Srebrenica we found so far. But still, we have to do a lot. Thousand people is still a lot. And a thousand, lot of families. Yeah. Thousand families wait for our phone call. Around 8,000 men and boys were massacred at Srebrenica. In Europe's worst atrocity since World War II. They'd surrendered to the Serb commander, General Ratko Mladic. He separated men from their families with false promises of safety. But leaders in Serb-controlled territory called the genocide a fabricated myth. Those responsible, like Mladic and Radovan Karadzic, are now revered. We must remember those men, regardless of whether they say we are glorifying, says the current Bosnian Serb leader, Milorad Dodik. <laughs> At this Serb religious festival, we found souvenirs of General Mladic on sale. And in the local church, remembering Serb war dead, we met one of Mladic's generals. Vinko Pandurovic spent 10 years in jail for crimes against humanity at Srebrenica, failing to stop and punish atrocities by his troops. But he won't accept Serbs committed genocide there, rather a massacre for which he doesn't bear responsibility. Forgive me, but how on earth can your conscience be clear when you've been convicted of crimes against humanity? Simply put, a person just has to accept the things as they are. If you cannot change them, then let it be. This thing I cannot change. I accept that it exists, I live with it. For survivors, memory lives in the photographs of the dead. A grandfather, a father. Of Elimana Mimishevich, a child in the genocide, now a law professor and fearful of new conflict. It's very dangerous, especially for uh, the survivors um, of genocide. Uh, everything looks very familiar. Uh, the dehumanization, the uh, celebration of uh, war crimes and war criminals that caused uh, unimaginable suffering. History, the manipulation of history, has long helped fuel conflict here. That's why truth matters so much now. Fergal Keane, BBC News, Srebrenica.